Hey y'all, so thank y'all so much for watching. I am about to show you how I make my candied apples. I'm gonna show you what you need first. I'm not gonna say the amounts here, but I will put the amounts in the description box, okay? So you're gonna need some water, some type of flavoring, some k syrup or light corn syrup, doesn't matter what brand, some white food coloring, any color you choose. If you're using red, you don't really need the white. Some apples, I use Granny Smith. You're gonna need something to put the apples in and out of the hot water to boil. You're also gonna need something that can stand up to 300 degree or higher heat. Some sugar. And you're gonna need some type of sticks, whether it be these or these. These, you wanna make them a little bit thicker, not make them, but you wanna get the ones that are a little bit thicker if you're gonna use the ones like this. And if you're gonna use this, you still need to use um, these right here. And you're going to need a microfiber cloth to, or some type of cloth to dry your apples. And you're going to need a silicone mat. And you're going to need a pot of boiling water to clean. I'm going to show you the whole process. So let's get to it. First step, oops, excuse me, is cleaning the apples. You have to get the wax off these apples. See how shiny they are? There's a wax on those. And you're going to to do that in order to have um, candy apples that don't have bubbles. So if you don't have a silicone mat, you can just use a pan with some paper towel for this step. But later on, you can line a um, cookie sheet or something with parchment paper and spray a little um, nonstick spray on there. Okay. Okay. So what you're gonna do? Cause you're gonna put your apples in here for like 10 seconds and you're gonna roll it around you're gonna remove the stems first you're gonna roll it around to remove the to loosen up that wax and then you're gonna take it off like this okay and do not put them all in the pot at the same time do them one at a time And be careful not to bruise your apple and don't leave it in for too long because you don't want your apple to start to get soft and basically cook. Okay, so. All right, so what I do is I just take it and I rub it to get all that wax off. And you'll notice after you've done a couple apples, <laughs> your water will start having a film of wax on top. Okay. Make sure you get in there and clean that part out, the bottom too. Now, I let these sit out on this paper towel and whatnot for about, for 24 to 48 hours. And in that time, these apples are gonna go from this to being very unattractive. So do not worry, they're not spoiled. It just means the wax is doing, was doing its job. And if you can hear, there will be some sap that's gonna come out and you need to clean that as well along the time, between the 24 to 48 hours. But I will show you that as I do it. You can hear the 
Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna come back and we're gonna close it out for the night. And I'll come back tomorrow and show you what to do. Now, make sure you leave your towel near because you're gonna need it over the next two days. A minimum of 24 hours. Um, I like to go at least 48. Um, no more than 48, I would say. Now, you're going to start seeing them change color. You're also going to start seeing some sap come out of them. See that? That's normal. Don't panic. See? Okay, so I leave them here, um, and I will tell you, do not skip this step when you're doing candied apples. Do not skip this step, because if you do, your apples are going to look like they have an STD. They are going to have all kind of mm, breakouts on them, okay? So, again... Tomorrow, I'm going to come back and show you what they look like, and then I'm going to show you what I do so that it's clear, all right? So, I will see y'all tomorrow. Okay, look at my spoon. Look at how much wax is on this spoon. That comes off those apples. Make sure you wash your spoon, scrub it really well, and your pot as well. All right, y'all, so as you can see... The apples are a little more dull today. There's a lot of sap that has come out of them. See the color on this one? Yep. And tomorrow they'll look even more weird. But they're not bad it's just what happens all right so it's the day of dipping see i'm gonna get all that extra wax so all that that came the sap or whatever that came out i'm gonna wipe these down one last time and there may be some white residue that's just from the wax being off you can wipe that off with a damp cloth and then make sure you dry the apples afterwards all right so now we're going to add the sticks um i'm going to use the lollipop sticks and the straws so you put the lollipop stick in first because the straw isn't strong enough to go in there by itself and especially for when you are trying to dip the apples so make sure you use a lollipop stick or the other candy apple sticks with in with a straw okay so you're just going to press down hard you're not going to go all the way through the apple then you're going to just press the straw i twist it a little bit so it doesn't bend the straw and that's that so you want to be able to control the apple so now i'm going to have my have everything pre-measured so now i'm going to add everything in except for my coloring and the flavoring some people add that in the beginning i just don't um once i add everything in i'm going to stir it to dissolve the sugar and then i'm going to turn it on medium and let it go. After you do that initial stir, do not stir again until after you've come to temperature and you're stirring in your flavor and your coloring. It's come up to temp, it's come up to boil. You're gonna put this in there. And make sure that the center, the bottom isn't touching. See, because this keeps this from touching the very bottom of the pot okay so go so as you as you can see it is clear now 
because your sugar has dissolved. So it is at about 210. And you're going to take it up to 300. Now, and you're going to go up to the hard crack stage right here. Now, be very careful. This stuff is hot. And you see as you get closer to the 300, the color is changing. Okay. Okay, so now you're going to, once it comes out the temp, turn it off. Shake up the white if you're using the white. Shake it up really well. And um, add a couple tablespoons of that in there. I have all the measurements in the description box. And then you're going to add whatever color you want or whatever flavor. And you're going to stir it. Wait for it to calm down and stop bubbling. And then you're ready to dip. Okay. Okay, and now you're going to ready to dip. Grab your apple, hold it where the stick is and not the top of the straw because it's going to bend if you aren't holding the stick. Make sure you know where the end of this where the stick begins so you can hold that part and have better a better grip. You're going to tilt your pot. You're going to place your apple in and you're just going to roll it around so that it covers the apple. You're going to shake it. I just spin it a little bit. And then I rub it on the side of the pot. Some people don't do that. I do because I don't like the really big bottoms on the apples. Um, it's just a preference thing. You know, some people don't care about that, but I do. And you're just going to continue. Okay, now, once you've dipped all your apples, here's something you can do. You can take some strawberries, add a pick in them, move this stem out of the way, and just dip them in there like you did your apples. Be careful because your hand is going to be closer to the sugar or the candy. And just remember, this stuff is hot. Candy is very... Sugar is hot once you heat it. It will take off layers of skin. Okay, so therefore you're going to... I do the same thing. I just twist it and shake off the excess and move on to the next. And I put it in... I stick that pick into a styrofoam so that it can dry. Okay, with the remainder of your candy, you can take a spoon and just drag it, hold it above the uh, strawberry and just do little swirls. Do not put this in a pastry bag. Do not go tell nobody. I told you to put that in there because, no, don't do that. All right, and once you're done, you're going to pour some hot water into your pot and let this boil for a few minutes until all the candy has dissolved. And so this technique I'm doing is I'm going to make this taste like a crybaby. What we do is we mix citric acid and some sugar and um then you sprinkle this all over the apple. And it tastes just like the crybabies we used to eat back in the day. Or chew because it's gum actually. But yeah, that's an option. There's other things that you can do with these apples. Um, I'll do another video someday on how to marble them and all that. But yeah, that's what it looks like.